Wednesday, January 25th, 2012. Deep within the Gubon Desert, among the Horn of Africa, an American and a Danish humanitarian aid worker are kidnapped by a savage group of Somali pirates. With a ransom of $45 million, the Somali pirates demand the cooperation of the United States government and hold the pair hostage for 93 days until 24 operators of the elite counterterrorism unit, SEAL Team 6, take them for free. In 2011, 32-year-old English teacher and Ohio native Jessica Buchanan relocated to Somalia with her husband and Danish colleague Paul Thiston in October of that year to educate local Somalian children of the danger of anti-personnel mines in the region. These anti-personnel mines not only violated humanitarian law, but were strategically set in place to divide the country into factions and subsets run by clans, extremist groups, and pirates who live beyond what's known as the green line and by green line i mean a not it's an invisible line and by pirates i meant these fucking nerds right here buchanan and her humanitarian group managed to steer clear of the green line while going village to village educating schools and demining sensitive areas however in order for her team to make it to the city of Galkaya, the team would have no other choice but to cross the green line or enter regions embroiled in a civil war Instead, the team decided to fly, taking a small Cessna aircraft into the city of Gakaya, where they safely made it to their post on October 22nd. By day two, Buchanan and her team completed their training in the northern region of Gakaya and headed south for the southern region on October 25th. While traveling in a vehicle convoy, a rogue vehicle approached and forced the convoy to a halt. 15 Somali pirates armed with AK-47s swarmed the convoy and ripped Buchanan's security advisor from the passenger seat, at which point their leader hopped in and demanded Buchanan's driver to drive straight into the desert, where they would then switch vehicles, taking Buchanan and Thisted deeper into the harsh desert. The pirates quickly recorded a tape of Buchanan and Thisted alive and sent an intermediary back into the city, who relayed the story to the local news, along with the pirates' demand for a ransom of $45 million. Buchanan's humanitarian organization immediately contacted the United States Embassy in Nairobi, who then contacted Washington. And what happened next? We'll find out after this ad. In the age of the internet, it's becoming increasingly more difficult to keep your information from being plastered out in the open for everyone to see. Over this past year alone, I can't even tell you the amount of robocallers and spammers who've blown up my phone. That's why the sponsor of today's video, Aura, is such a big deal. Aura is an identity protection service that scours the internet for all of your personal information that has been made public and they delete it. But that's not all they do. Aura is also a VPN to protect your browsing experience. It's a vault for your passwords, is a credit monitoring service, an antivirus service, and even offers parental controls and does so much more to protect you and your family from online threats you can't see, such as data brokers who collect all your information, your address, your phone number, your email, and then they sell it. And these data brokers are making a fortune, selling your information to robocallers, spammers, and potential bad actors. These data brokers are legally required to remove your information if you ask them to, but they make it nearly impossible for you to do. Aura handles it for you. Aura can identify data brokers exposing your info and submit opt-out requests on your behalf. And for me personally, Aura has helped significantly decrease the number of robocallers I receive. Instead of getting annoying spam phone calls now, I get emails and alerts from Aura, notifying me that someone was looking for my phone number or personal information and asking me if they should delete it. I've used several identity protection services and credit monitoring systems in the past, and while they work just fine, I found that Aura is a much easier and more efficient service to use. Instead of paying multiple subscriptions for multiple apps scattered across my phone, Aura does the same things they can do, all in one convenient place. It's easy to log in, tell it what to do, what kind of notifications you want to receive, and bam. And Aura's been kind enough to give you guys a two-week free trial. So hop on, plug your information, and I guarantee you, you'll be surprised at how much of your information is available online. And unlike data brokers, Aura will keep your information protected and private and let you choose what information you want public and what information you want private. So go ahead and check out the link in the description below. Visit Aura.com forward slash Popomedic and they'll get you going with a two week free trial.
Then President Barack Obama was immediately briefed and the CIA launched an international manhunt. And as November quickly approached, the pirates would take Buchanan and Thiskel deeper into the desert by foot, causing the pair to quickly deteriorate beneath the harsh element. But US intelligence were able to track their location nearly step by step by following the signals of the pirates' cell phones and satellite phones. And by November 21st, presidential counterterrorism advisor John Brennan met with Danish Minister of Justice Morten Bodskov about the case of Paul Thiste, while President Obama met with the top White House national security staff. Both presented the idea of a hostage rescue, but were met with hesitation as negotiations were still on the table. By December, no agreement was made, and by January, the situation would only worsen, as on January 16th, U.S. intelligence communicating with the pirates directly via cell phone learned that Buchanan was near the brink of death, suffering from malnourishment and an untreated infection. The United States government, desperate to secure her release, issued a counteroffer to the pirates' 45 million with an offer of 1.5 million. The pirates refused, sealing their fate. <music> President Obama gave U.S. intelligence the order to launch a rescue mission. Naval Special Warfare responded, offering a direct action, clandestine infiltration, courtesy of Dev Group's Blue Squadron. Led by Senior Chief Justin Sheffield. And within 24 hours, his team was ready to go. On January 24th, 24 operators from SEAL Team 6 arrived at Camp Lemony in Djibouti, roughly 500 miles from Buchanan and Thiston, and prepared for the op. By midnight on January 25th, the team boarded a C-17 and headed for Buchanan and Thiston. Once they reached altitude, the team parachuted into the night, two miles out from Buchanan and Thiston's location. Once on the ground, the team crept through the dark countryside on foot. Once they approached the pirates' location, Sheffield ordered his men to break out. Snipers proned out and provided overwatch as Sheffield and his team raised their rifles. One of the pirates walking about to take a leak spotted movement, and as he raised his voice to awake the other eight pirates, the seals opened fire, sending the other eight men scrambling. The pirates took cover in the brush and dunes, but one by one, they were quickly picked off, and Buchanan, realizing her hostage takers were likely under attack by a rival clan, believed this was the end, until a seal approached her, shouting her name. He quickly dove on top of her, followed by another seal, until six operators laid atop of her, shielding her from incoming fire. Another handful of seals covered Paul Thiston, until all nine pirates were eliminated. Sheffield then extracted Buchanan from the camp, carrying her over his shoulder and racing her back into the countryside. This day, who remained ambulatory, followed Sheffield while being escorted by the remaining group of SEALs. Half a mile out, the team rendezvoused with a group of Air Force PJs and dumped Buchanan. And as the PJs began treating, Sheffield and his team moved out to demolish the pirates' remaining arms depot staged nearby. Once they returned, they provided security as the pararescue extracted Buchanan back to base. Back in Washington, President Obama, watching the operation's live feed from the situation, quickly exited the room as he was less than an hour away from making his State of the Union address. He made no mention of the rescue, only thanking Defense Secretary Leon Panetta on the way to the podium. Good job tonight. Good job tonight. The American woman rescued from pirates by the intrepid Navy SEALs will spend her first night back in the U.S. tonight. Jessica Buchanan, held for three months by pirates in Somalia, and we're getting a glimpse of her life as a captive when I had a chance to speak by phone with her father, John Buchanan, who was waiting for her arrival and wanted to thank the Navy SEALs and everyone who brought joy to this family tonight. Buchanan was treated at a joint base in Italy and reunited with her husband and father. She returned to Ohio, had children, and later penned a book titled Impossible Odds. 
Paul Thiston, returned to Denmark and continues his humanitarian work to this day. And while the team that rescued me that night all came back safely, the reality is not everyone does. And the families they leave behind desperately need our support. So however we're able tonight, let's show our gratitude for these wounded and fallen soldiers and their families. Just like they surrounded me, please let's surround them with our heartfelt love by pledging our support. God bless you. God bless America. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button. There's a lot more mini docs in the works and you don't want to miss them. And also be sure to check me out over on Instagram as well. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Thank you.